Yo, this is the Blood Clot Stunt Gang General Safari, and this is my Hollywood reunion recap. Now eat that, strip. I was very surprised at how long the day was. They were like, yeah, we're gonna be shooting till around maybe 12, 1 in the morning. But I just was like, nah, they probably exaggerating. But then to start at 10 a.m. and then finish one, and then it's like the room is freezing cold. So people are like, yeah, you always got on the fur. They don't know how cold these rooms be. This is crazy. Knowing that the reunion was about to take place, I just was preparing myself for just all sorts of craziness to happen. Watching them in the past and then being on the stage, like, there definitely were some points where I just was looking and I'm thinking to myself, this is really surreal and weird that I'm here right now. And it looks exactly like what it looks like on TV. Little colorful pillows, outrageous chairs, outrageous rug on the floor, and then, you know. I felt weird. In between segments, I'm looking around and I'm like, damn, like, everyone's getting breaks except for me. I didn't leave the stage not one time. They just moved me from chair to chair to stage to other side. And I'm just like, this is crazy. I'm, I'm the only one that didn't leave the stage yet besides Nina. You know what I'm saying? Nina did an amazing job as a host, but I would love to see Kevin Hart as a host. One thing that I realized about her, she is like a therapist. As far as her controlling people's emotions, there's nothing that nobody can do to control these people's emotions, because with little Brandy going crazy, and Moniz walking off, and Masika walking off, it's like, Nina, nobody can't control these people, Carl, when them get vexed, you know what I'm saying? I just was thinking to myself that at one point, I want to run across the stage and act like I'm about to start a fight. Because watching the show, I've always wanted to do that. When it comes to reunion fashion, best dress for the females. Um, let me see. The girls be going hard. They be coming out like it's the Oscars. The best? Damn, that's hard. Let me see. You know what? But just just because Masika had something that had to do with the wild safari lifestyle and the outrageousness, that includes feathers. So, feathers, Masika, fur, fur. When it comes to my reunion fashion, well, people say I'm over the top of my fashion, like, you gotta think about it, like, what am I supposed to do? My name's Safari. I have to match the outrageousness of my name with my personality. What's a Safari? Something wild and outrageous. I am a wild and outrageous, bumble blood ross clot individual. So that's where it all makes sense. Like, this look like I really went on a Safari to get this, you know what I'm saying? I don't care, I'm gonna like it, go bite it and um, I'm just doing me until I can't do me no more. The Love & Hip Hop Hollywood Season 3 reunion was straight madness. You saw that part one of the reunion was crazy. Be sure that you catch part two.